Chats, Chats, Chats. Welcome back to Car Chats F1 with Amy and Anna. I'm Amy. <laughs> and I'm Anna. <laughs> and this is Car Chats F1. And you can find us on TikTok at Car Chats F1, on Instagram, and on Patreon at patreon.com slash Car Chats F1. Testing out a new intro there. <laughs> Rather than just, and it's another week of winter break and it's yet another week of winter break we are clearly struggling <laughs> if all's well you can find us live in color on video form on patreon hopefully yeah <laughs> we've had a bit of a monday of it yeah again i think we say that every week oh the first thing i want to mention is we're doing a little f1 book club where we need your guys's book recommendations so that we can read a book all together and then review it on the pod so drop those in our uh, dms in our comments wherever you feel necessary <laughs> <laughs> every week i come on here and i say oh my god can't believe how much has happened on like twitter or whatever in winter break ferrari have put the date for their sf24 at least that's what i hope it's going to be called um so they don't mix it up <laughs> with the names reveal as 13th of february mm -hmm. i'm excited yeah i'm just waiting for the other teams to put their ones out as well because this is about as exciting as it gets <laughs> until like february yeah. now so <laughs> this is peak winter break it's made me be like i can't wait to make predictions for next season because we didn't get to make any this year because we started the pod like mid-year yeah i mean we we did this on becca's podcast already where we gave our like kind of very very early pre pre car reveal pre testing pre 2024 <laughs> predictions yeah but i'm very excited no yeah same i just i want to know when all the other cars are gonna be unveiled i remember last year with mercedes when they unveiled their black car Ooh. so uh i hope we have some more kind of surprises it's not gonna be um alfa romeo is it maybe i don't know one team's gonna have what, a weird color out there yeah yeah sauber they're gonna have the green the kit green aren't they Ooh. it's oh, gonna no. be a new a new edition <laughs> but then everybody else was saying about how you sent me that tweet about mclaren probably having green on their car because of monster ugly like, mclaren you better not it's the year of the neon green <laughs> oh mclaren please <laughs> Don't do this to me. Especially because Alpine have like taken the pink, you know, they dropped the pink livery. And I'm I like, oh, we can't just have a bunch of like blue, green and red cars. Come on, guys. I know. Come on. Gross. I know. We need to have some nice liveries for this season. Yeah. I'm excited for some new liveries. The Secret Santa teaser video just came out today. So not the actual Secret yeah. Santa video. It might be out by the time this is up. So I won't stress too much about it. But one thing I did find very funny is that the girlies on my timeline are very sad because people predicted that Max had Charles because of how he responded to picking the name yesterday when he was like, oh, I've got loads of ideas. And I was like, oh, let's not get our hopes up, guys. Like, come on, let's taper it down. People are so like Lestap and starved that they are like making up scenarios. And um, yeah, so now we officially know who everyone has. I just thought it was funny that the Aussies are together. Oh, I haven't looked at the full list. <laughs> well, Danny Rick has Oscar and I saw that Pierre got Lando. And then at the end, they were like, do you have any ideas? And Pierre went, plenty of ideas, naughty ideas. Yeah. <laughs> I am very much looking forward to that. But Pierre has been on one this season. He is not censoring himself <laughs> at all. No. <laughs> and I mean, nobody is as desperate for the Secret Santa video as the Oscar girlies because, because people started to generate rumours that Oscar wasn't going to be in it just because he wasn't in that like teaser video, the, the first one. And everyone's like, guys, neither were like half the grid. But everyone was like, Oscar's not going to be in it. Oh my God. And then... And then that reminds me of uh, of someone tweeted, watching the rest of F1 Twitter get holiday pics of their drivers while we live off of Oscar liking cricket tweets. <laughs> it's just like, everyone sees him like one cricket tweet and they're like, he's alive, he's alive, new Oscar content just dropped. <laughs> I'm like, oh, really are starved of it. Oscar is not a 
F1 content creator. He is not out here for the fans. <laughs> no. He's just He's like so the polar unbothered. opposite of Lando. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely. I think they're like the same, but on like different levels, like energy-wise. <laughs> same person, different fonts. Oscar feels like a Helvetica. Mm-hmm. He feels like a strong, bold font. And then yeah. Lando feels a bit like a italic sans serif. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like Lando's like the edgier version. What's like the edgier version of Helvetica? <laughs> <laughs> I need some graphic designers to to put the drivers as fonts. But speaking of <laughs> Lando... Did you see that video of him being spotted in London accidentally? Oh, I sent it to you. Yeah. That kills me because that's absolutely something that I would do of like just recording and then not noticing he was in it until afterwards. And it just makes me think, how the hell do these people spot anyone in the wild? Especially in London. There's so many people. Everyone's moving so quickly. You have to have like eagle eyes to ever spot these Mm -hmm. people. Yeah. Like we've said before, I just like don't look at people in the face when they're walking past me. Like (laughs) I just literally am like eyes down all the time. I would never like I just don't make direct eye contact with anyone. It's the same for I saw like a fan took a picture with Arthur in New York and I was like, Rogue F two fan in the street in New York at Christmas time managing to spot Arthur Leclerc. (laughs) Fucking Random. Yeah, I mean, but... when Pierre went ice skating in London, I was like, if I was ice skating, then I would not have even realised that was Pierre. I would have just thought it was some, anyone, like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, you're like, he could pass me in the street? Nah, I wouldn't know a thing. And th- Well, I didn't even realise he was in London in that picture. I was like, no, oh, Pierre <laughs> ice skating, because you sent me that, and you were like, I wouldn't have recognised him. I was like, neither would I. And turns out that I was like standing at the ice rink, when I was waiting to see you, I was standing at the ice rink that he had been at. <laughs> <laughs> and like, I was like, let's go see where Pierre was. And you were like, no, I, mean, I was here. <laughs> and I was like, no, Pierre was here. And you were like, yeah, but I was here earlier. And I was like, yeah, but this is the ice ring that Pierre was at. And you were like, oh, you were like, nice architecture. I just assumed it was, was Paris. Like, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I just assumed he was in Paris. But I just can't believe Lando, first of all, that he's back in London. That- Again, I'm very confused about where this boy is. He is keeping the people <laughs> on his toes. I cannot tell where he is at any given time, which is good because I shouldn't be able to tell because he's a celebrity. <laughs> on that note, he did look like one of the mice from Shrek. <laughs> I think I put that in my things to talk about as well. I um, I linked <laughs> all my you? tweets today <laughs> so you can look at them since I can't hold my phone up to the camera. <sighs> But it's the one that said, damn, these what the difference games are just keep getting harder and harder. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, that's, I was about to say, I saw that one. Oh my gosh. Speaking of cartoon rodents, did you see the one of, uh, where someone was comparing Esteban Ocon to Rodney from Flushed Away? Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, but I was like, that's George Core. Everybody knows that yeah. that's George. That's not Esty. That yeah, that is George. Then it reminds me of the um of the whole thing of every man, every guy is either a Rodney from Flushed Away or that cow from Over the Hedge, or whatever it is. Barnyard. Or Sid the Sloth. Or Sid the Sloth. Everyone fits into the there's one of three. <laughs> mm-hmm. Men are really that simple. Speaking further of Lando, he was seen to be using a twelve hour clock on his phone. I guess it's a win for the Americans, so... I know. I saw so many people on my timeline were like, this is the correct way. I was like, it's -mm. the same as... I think it was summer break when everyone was losing their minds and saw that Charles was using a 24-hour clock, as he should, as a European. As he should. As every person should. As every person should. If you can count to 24, (laughs) you can use a (laughs) 24-hour clock. I think, honestly, winter break is getting to people that we care about this, but... I just found it funny that there was a tweet where somebody said what everyone was thinking of, yeah, he looks like the kind of guy that doesn't understand 24 hour time. (laughs) Unfortunately. And I was like, yeah, that is very true. (laughs) Uh, I have a little tweet about Lando as well. So on Angry Ginger's stream, I don't know, yesterday, day before, whatever, he said, I'm just trying to flirt with my boyfriend, um, best friend, uh, friend, Lando Norris. <laughs> I saw that. I just pulled up your tweet of it. Yeah, it's, 
he he has fallen he has fallen hard for Lando, isn't he? he I mean, I, I don't blame him. I think it's kind of hard to not fall for him. <laughs> I would disagree, but <laughs> when we were on um, on live and you were like, "Oh, he's just a normal British boy," we had like some reply being like, "He's not just a normal British boy." <laughs> I was like, his vibe, his energy is like normal British boy energy. You know, like when he's playing on stream and stuff, I'm like, this is just a guy. Like, I, guy I've being seen dude. many a guy like him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I'm like, that's good. You know, it's good that he's not like, acts, you know, whatever. But <laughs> <laughs> he is, guys. Come on, let's admit to ourselves. He's just a guy. Yeah. They're all just guys. They're all just guys. Another... To be honest, looking at the tweets I have, anyway, I just love the one of George. And it's like, no one's looking at that Monopoly board, I promise. He is, oh, <laughs> yeah, speaking of George, those pictures, he's learning. He's cropped his feet out of all his most recent pictures. <gasps> he said no see? free feet You know, pits. this is... <laughs> because we've talked about it's so funny we've actually managed to talk like our second running joke of the pod after the whole Arthur Leclerc thing seems to be George's feet first of all I remember we talked about his wiki feet because somebody brought that up on the pod ages ago and then his little flippers walking around Singapore with no shoes on and now he's learned maybe he's listened to our podcast and realized I should stop giving people free feet because I think we gave him this advice like four months ago that he needs to stop mm -hmm. cropping his start cropping his feet out of his pictures because people are putting them in insensitive places <laughs> or sensitive places. He's... <laughs> insensitive places. Yeah, oh. I mean, or maybe, maybe he's just maybe maybe now he's just learned that like he doesn't need to have his little tingers out yeah. online all the time. Like, you know, keep them to himself. And his loved ones. He can he can keep that between yeah. <laughs> he could keep that between him and God. because uh, not yeah. everybody needs to see George's <laughs> flippers all the time. Speaking further of George, did you see that in Williams's Christmas post that there's a tiny little George cut out behind like one of the pictures, one of the picture frames? <laughs> and then people are like, Williams are never letting go of George. And I I can attest to that. Williams are not getting like not letting go of George. Like when we were there. They brought up George quite a bit. Let's just put it that way. But uh, I mean, who can blame them? I mean, I would. <laughs> I would bring up George all the time as well. I mean, I do bring up George all the time and he didn't even drive for me. But they literally had a steering wheel. <laughs> drive they for had his me. Cars. They were talking about... <laughs> he can be my chauffeur. <laughs> so, you know, if he wants a second job, he can drive for me. <laughs> but he... Like they, they even brought up the fact that he has the fastest scale electrics time at the Williams uh, Centre, like yeah. in the whole of the Williams Centre in the whole of history. So they really love George so much. Well, keeping in the same sort of uh, vein as the George tweet, there's also a tweet of Charles. Caption's just a bit funny. The feminine urge to climb him like a tree. Yes. And then oh I my think god. About that and I'm like. He he's like one inch taller than me. <laughs> oh my god! No. So first of all, I saw this tweet: the feminine urge to climb him like a tree, and I was like, "Oh okay, <laughs> oh okay." And I nearly like screenshot it. And like you said, I was like, "But he's not even like he's not tall." And then it reminds me of how there was that quadrant event to bring it back to the place of Lando. There was that quadrant event, and Becca went to it, and she was stood next to Max Futural, and Becca is like small she's like five foot something you know like under five four i'm very sure because <laughs> she's like small next to me and max next to her is not that much taller which means that lando is not that much taller and i feel like that's known like when we saw him in oscar on stage i was like they are literally like they can't be t they can't be taller than us like they have to cap out at five seven <laughs> and then that makes me be mm -hmm. like all of the drivers are lying they are doing a classic man and Charles absolutely cannot be that much taller than us. So to climb him like a tree would literally just be like a hug. <laughs> literally, I was like, climb him like a tree. I was like, where? Like, and that was kind of like, <laughs> Bitch, where? Is, is, is this person a child? Like, is this person like yeah. 30? 
Is this person 13 and 4 foot 10? <laughs> because I cannot relate. But also the fact that, oh my gosh, I would I was saying about how I'd love to put the drivers in a high order lineup. That should be the next girl of grid. Not them having to like put their pretend heights on the board because it's pretend. Let's the be pretend real. The pretend heights. They should do a lineup like they're in jail. Yes, a lineup, a proper jail lineup, and they should have to do it like in games class in school where you have to line yourself up by height and everyone's arguing about who's taller. And everyone's like, no. And they're like, even mm-hmm. though you could clearly see it. And they're like going off of like tiny like, little stand bits, back like, to back, hair. stand back to back. And you like stand on your tiptoes, <laughs> like. <laughs> and they're like flattening your hair to be like, it's your hair. That's what I need them to do. I need to see this. Or I need to see that guy, Cody, whatever his name is, who goes to the gym and like whips out a measuring tape to be like testing people's heights. I need that. Yeah, they used to do that video where they're like, how tall are you? And they're like, six foot. And they're like, can we test that? And they all start running away. <laughs> they need to do like that sort yes. of video. <laughs> yeah, that's what we need because because I can't take it anymore with these men. I absolutely fully believe. I mean, like I said before, I was actually quite surprised that like, you know, the F2 drivers that we met were actually taller than me. I was really surprised at that. But I mean, I don't know what they have in their shoes. They could be wearing little booster pads. In their shoes. I know. They got newspaper in their shoes. <laughs> <laughs> They're wearing little heels. I was wearing flats. <laughs> I can attest to that. So, <laughs> mm-hmm. To continue on my little Twitter Twitter range. Did you see that Nico, Nico Rosberg commented on the video from eight years ago of him throwing his P2 cap at Lewis in 2015? Yeah, I did see that. <laughs> I don't know when it was, but Nika Rosberg commented, why does the YouTube algorithm algorithm suggest this video again? And everyone's like, Ariana, what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how he reacts when he sees that video and is recommended. Like, is he, does he like open YouTube and just goes... <sighs> Speaking further of Nika Rosberg, though, somebody did point out that George's like dramatic turn you know, where he loves a little little dramatic turn. Someone said it reminded them of when when someone asked to take a picture of Nico and he gave the same dramatic little cunty turn. Like, have you seen that? <laughs> no. <laughs> I love all of his, like, sassy stuff, whatever. But my favourite video of George is the one when he's on the scooter and they're like, you agreed to take a photo with us. And he goes... <sighs> he's yeah. like, smiling from ear to ear on his little scooter. He's like... And then he hears like, you agreed to take a photo with us. He literally goes like that. one that. will literally never get old to me. That one is like one of my favourite reactionary, reactionary videos, along with that new Lando one where he's like eyeing up the camera on the stream. <laughs> Those are my two favourite reaction ones. But I just love, I love how George brings back this like, this energy, this drama. I just love it. I think all mm-hmm. drivers should have this kind of flair about them. 2024 is the year yeah. of flair, guys. Give it. It's the year of camp. Yeah. Let's let's have some more, <laughs> the year more of camp. camp. The I just think to help out with it being the year of camp, they need to bring back the televised driver briefings. <laughs> yes! I literally can't believe I've never got to see these. I only have any, ever seen like Drive to Survive so good. clips of driver briefings. <laughs> My favourite part is just everyone being like the way that Checo always looks confused. Like they never cut to him and he just looks content. He's always like. (laughs) Oh my gosh. But speaking of older drivers, I, again, was absolutely cackling. First of all, Jensen Button's in in WEC next year, which means that I will be watching WEC next year. Yet another series to watch and mix there, so... The ghoulies will be watching the World Endurance Championships. Yep, you best believe we will be there. Everyone's in it. And also, like I've said previously, I will be watching any series that Frederick Bestie or Arthur Leclerc goes to if they become mm-hmm. employed again. My favourite unemployed boys. <laughs> Please. Oh, that reminds me of that tweet of somebody saying about me waiting for me and Arthur Van wondering what to do next next year now that my driver is unemployed. And it's that video of him in New York just sitting there like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like I will follow any series. So we will be following WEC for for Mr. Jensen Zipper. 
Jensen Zipper, my favourite driver. I just love that the options were like button, zipper, like what was it? It was like other like coat related things, wasn't it? Button, zipper, Velcro, clasp. Clasp, Velcro. <laughs> I just love, I, I would love if she picked Jensen Velcro. That would be so much funnier. I just, I just, I'm not being funny, but out of all the options, zipper sounds, it doesn't sound like a very last name type of word, does it? Like, maybe it's because she was getting confused by the fact that it's like F1 driver. So maybe she thought that like zipper was like his nickname. You know what I mean? Like, oh, he's fast, Jensen Zipper. Because he's zippy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hope he, I hope he yeah. zips around in work, Jensen Zippy. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, but but thinking about different series and how we said that we'd support Vesti, we will follow him into the dark. We will support wherever he goes. Did you see the edit mm -hmm. of Fred to Seven by Taylor Swift? I can't remember now. It's a very lovely edit. Are there still beautiful things? Sweet tea in the summer, cross your heart, won't tell no other And though I can't recall your face, I still got love for you Moment of silence, please <laughs> That's so mean, whoever ousted him, I'm coming to get you <laughs> That is a warning, I will be coming for you directly <laughs> And also, Ollie Behrman hasn't announced Prema yet I'm still Mate, waiting. if that doesn't happen, then they have fumbled hard. Mm -hmm. Every week we come on here and we're like, when's it, when's it going to be? And it better be soon. <laughs> it better be. <laughs> if Fred and Ollie are like gone from F2, I will swear off F2 for the rest of time. <laughs> Just as we were like, F2 is the best series. And then it's like, I take it back. We will we will pick another yeah. series. Wherever they go to, we're going to pick that series. That reminds me of how on um, on our live, before we ate our gingerbread men, which is, if you haven't seen, the full video is actually on our Patreon of us making gingerbread men F1 drivers. We then proceeded to eat, taste test, Max Verstappen and Lando Norris as per request of the chat. And before we ate them, we played a little edit as a little, you know, like a sacrificial ceremony. Like they are sacrificing Le Leclerc. Oh, I wish we don't. I wish we ate Charles now because I could have done they are sacrificing Leclerc. I then clipped a bit of watching the Max edit and put it on my TikTok and it got like blocked. Like it had got like 50 views and they were all people who follow me and they just and I and you know when it like doesn't tell you that it's not push it to the for you page but if you look at the analytics it, it hasn't put it on a for you page I'm like what does it have against Max <laughs> I I don't like this anti-Max agenda this is very much giving drive to survive like <laughs> let the Max girlies live let us let us share let us indulge the Max Ghoulies are always welcome in our live streams. As much as Amy wants to deny us of the privilege. <laughs> I just go like this. You just don't, you just pretend you do not see. Joking I am, Gav. You're nib nibbling on your Lando Norris. Yeah, I was literally, you were playing it like, <laughs> like <laughs> legs, like. Um, <laughs> I just, there's nothing, I have nothing against Max. I just don't think he's that attractive. And that's not a crime, guys, enough. because there's somebody here that doesn't think that Lando Norris is very attractive. And you know what? Yeah. We, we're we all entitled to some opinions. I stand by that. I'm sorry, Lando's a short king. I think he's funny, but not my cup of tea. And that's fine. Max I still send you your Lando man. edits. <laughs> <laughs> he's a lovely boy. <laughs> <laughs> He's he's too Dutch for me. Like he's too straightforward. I don't I don't like the, I don't I don't like the like I don't know, dry like no dry humor. I don't know. It's not even humor though, is it? He just says everything just deadpan. Like he says everything that comes to <laughs> he says anything that comes to his mind. It kills me. Basically. I feel like he's the kind of person that I like in theory and I like watching videos of. But if in person he were to say something to me and it was deadpan, I would be like. <laughs> like it would hit my feelings <laughs> yeah it hurts my feeling that, that there's nothing even I to do with that. me just in like any video of max i'm like oh mean 
I wasn't gonna, I don't think I was gonna bring up this tweet because I was like, I say things of this ilk every week. I said I was, wasn't gonna do it anymore, but here I am where somebody else tweeted this. Connie actually said, the way he says this was actually hot. And it's the clip of the bloopers and it's Max. You're probably again, not gonna find this hot, but it's when it- <laughs> Have you crossed them all off? You want me to cross them off? Don't just put a big cross through everything. I'm not trusting you. Cross through everything. I'm not trusting you. <laughs> She's not wrong. And you know what? It makes my comment from before look so much less unhinged. And I will back that. Thank you, Connie. Thank you for standing with the girlies and claiming <laughs> claiming that Max being assertive is what's hot. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That's my TED Talk. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Did I miss something or did all he say was just, you want me to cross them all off? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he asked a question. It. <laughs> yeah, it was the way he said it. It was the way he said it. It's the same. Oh my God, this is the same. I forgot last week to bring this up. And I said this to you when we were hanging out on Friday about how, like I said, standards are so low. Charlotte Claire and Carlos did that fucking countdown numbers thing. And I am a, I'm a numbers girly. I love countdown numbers. I love Sudoku's. I love simultaneous equations. I am, I'm a numbers girly. So when I don't, sorry, Carlos, you're not my cup of tea. So when Charles was like getting them right or like doing it quickly, I was literally like, this is, this is it for me. I absolutely like, God damn it. I'm now Forza Ferrariing my way to the grave because of because uh, <laughs> of Charlotte Claire. Because well, of Charlotte Claire being able to maths is a, is a, a bit maths more question. interesting than saying you want me to cross them all off. Yeah. I agree. I agree with you. So I feel like my standards are getting higher. Um they're getting better. They have to be able to do Which, basic you know, mental maths. <laughs> and like i've said before it's really funny when i find things like when i find these bloody these men doing the most basic ass things attractive when i can do those these things better than them in terms of you know like mm -hmm. why are my standards so low i always say this charles or like arthur playing the piano i'm like oh yeah hot and then i'm like oh, i could play the piano way better than them i did all my like i learned for like 18 years i could I could play the piano better than them. Why do I care that they could play the piano? And then Charles can do some mental maths. And I'm like, yeah, I could do a lot more than just a bit of mental maths. Why do I think that that's the hottest thing ever if they can do it? Like the standards for a, for a guy are absolute on the floor. On the floor. Mm -hmm. I had to pick myself on the up. Floor. Mm -hmm. Pick yourself up, girl. I am lemon loaf slice on the floor. Pick myself up. I mean, I just know that if a girl, if a video of a girl went viral doing mental maths, the guys would be like, damn, she knows too much. <laughs> yeah, it would be like, oh my God, she can count. Or like if, if she did it too slowly, it'd be like, I could do better than her. <laughs> my favorite men comment we had this week was on the Pat Award video once again, and someone just explaining his entire name to us. Like his name is Patricio, his nickname is Pato, and his last name is Award. And we're like, yeah, he didn't. The thing with that, though, is that he didn't really explain where he was going with that. He just, he was like, he yeah. was his first name. Also, it's his nickname. Also, his last name is this. And it's kind of like, yeah, we actually said that in the video. Like, we actually did say yeah. his full name in the video. So, um, mm -hmm. where were you? And we got going? it on our Lando Norris car one as well. People being like, that was actually oh, yeah. not Lando's car. And it's like, okay, we get it. Okay, we get it, guys. Please, where are the girlies? Can the girlies come back? Can the girlies come back? If I get, if if something's suggested or called out by a girl, I'll accept it. But if it's men stating the absolute obvious that we literally said in the video, I, oh, I've had it. I've had it. Yeah, I think the thing with the Lando Norris car one, though, is that um, actually... It was just that our little girl brains couldn't like figure out that that wasn't Lando's car. We needed him to tell us no. that, in fact, this car that was put outside someone's house in the middle of a residential area where it could easily get vandalised, broken or stolen actually isn't his 2023 McLaren like F1 car. Like, so oh, actually, I'm, I'm we just need shocked. to say thanks. Yeah. 
I uh, thank you, man. I am so glad that you explained that to us because I thought that Lando Norris actually went there himself and drove his car actually like onto the drive and then like just parked it up and left the keys in because I can't comprehend that it, they wouldn't actually do that. Oh my god! Mind out, Anna. You said left the keys in, and we all know that they don't have keys in them. No, that's why I said it. <laughs> I, know, I, like I was like, him mind up. out. Give him a little bait. Mind out. <laughs> Give him a little bait to call us a stupid. You're gonna woman. get death threats stupid now, woman, for saying keys in. Genuinely, keys are left in the ignition, guys. How do you think they start the car? They're gonna rev up the engine like a go kart. They're gonna pull that string in the back. I mean, and to round out this, before I go on a massive long rant, to round it out in a bit of a happier way, there was a TikTok of a girl saying about when you find a new celebrity crush and it's her like writhing, being like showing all her friends, being like, oh my God, no, like you don't Mm -hmm. get it. And I was like, oh, I mean, you know, okay, but why does this come up on my For You page? Because I don't know, I don't engage in celebrity culture outside of F1. So, and then I looked at the comments and one of the top comments for me, because I know the top comments are different for different people, was don't let her find out about Charlotte Claire. <laughs> and, and then someone said, personally, I like Piastri more, but I'm aware of the Leclerc effect. And then people like just replying to it being like, yeah, when you get to know their personalities. And I'm like, everyone's just going off on a full debrief about F1 drivers in this girl's like celebrity, random ass celebrity crush video. <laughs> oh my God. Oh no, I have one last thing to say. Speaking of man, I just realised because I screenshot the bottom half of this tweet because I didn't want to put the entire thing in because it has nudity in it. Um, because <laughs> Lainey tweeted, every now and then I just re- I just get a reminder that these drivers are in fact just men. And it is the fact that there is a Instagram page called Full Send Girls where it's a bunch of pictures of women in their underwear and who follows who follows it but Max Verstappen and I was shocked first of all where are these men's PR teams where are their PR teams second of all I swear to god Max says he doesn't use his own Instagram like all of his Instagram posts are like created and curated by like a PR person 100% Max doesn't post anything organic Mm. on his Instagram so I'm like why would he then use that Instagram to follow like these accounts like surely you'd like give him a burner his social media manager outing himself <laughs> i swear his social media manager is probably the one that follows it because i am genuinely like every week every week i come on this pod and i'm like where are these men's pr teams every week because it astounds me mm-hmm. that like the things that they'll apparently censor them from saying and then let them just do this but i mean they are in fact just men it's good mm-hmm. it can make, brings me back down to earth i read i redact yeah. everything i previously said about max if we take all of our top um quotes from the pod which obviously include <laughs> cars are fast drivers are hot the next one underneath is probably they are just men they are just men and we literally, last week, I remember we had a, we do all this for a man. Um, so yeah, every week we would like to reiterate that these are just men. But before we finish, I'm going to go on a limb and say this is probably our last pod before Christmas. <laughs> I guess so. I'm leaving you with a little Christmas sentiment of... Everyone meet Oscar Piastri and someone put their McLaren cap with 81 on top of their Christmas tree. I love it. I love the go. Piastri <laughs> jokes jokes today. I also love Celeste has been has been doing a hiding F1 drivers in my Christmas decorations every day until my parents notice. And she put <laughs> George Russell on a cross. She put him on a Jesus cross like within her parents like nativity scene i absolutely love it so check out celeste's uh tiktok to see that series but i mean we will wish you guys a merry christmas and very excited for the new year and just a a couple weeks closer to a new season of f1 
That's all we care about at this point. No Christmas, no New yeah. Year, no Valentine's Day, no nothing in the next two months. We're just counting down the days. At all until the new series that our favourite drivers are in starts. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> our favourite actors. Our favourite actors. Our favourite drive to survive, to survive actors. <laughs> I am looking forward to it. And I hope that you put up your new calendar for 2024 because I did get a <laughs> a Lewis Hamilton calendar. <laughs> because <laughs> I was on my own in my house the other day after you gave me the calendar I propped up the calendar so uh, like on my like windowsill so Lewis was watching over me while I slept so. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put Lewis on the windowsill so if anyone tries to break in they open my door they're just confronted with like Lewis in front of them <laughs> Lewis Hamilton facing them off via calendar form yeah. <laughs> Also, one of the last things I want to say is I still don't understand where that picture, you know, the picture of Lewis tied up from like a good couple years ago. Where is that from? Why was he tied up? I don't know why. (laughs) It's never bothered me before that I don't know where it's from. Mm. But all of a sudden, I'm literally like, somebody tell me, I genuinely put in the shout out, somebody say, it's probably from just like a random ass video, but just tell me because it's just suddenly bothered me. And I'm like, that is a bit strange and I want to know <laughs> and on that note mm. on that note I think we will wish you a Merry Christmas you can uh, follow us on TikTok you can find us on TikTok for the visuals you can check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash carchatsf1 for the video version of this and our live st- full live streams our edited versions of the live streams and our bonus content don't forget to recommend us some F1 books so we can start our F1 book club so you guys can read along and we can do a little review on the pod. And you can find us on TikTok and Instagram at CarChatsF1. And I'm at AnnaXF1 on TikTok and Twitter. And I'm AmyXF1 on TikTok and Instagram, I think I've got that handle. Can't remember now. Oh, yeah, I don't have the handle on Insta. So don't follow whoever has that handle. Because <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> so don't follow whoever has that handle. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for listening. We'll see you in the next one. I'm so excited. Ah. Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.